Hello, I'm James Bollinger from North Carolina, America. I work as a coordinator for international relations for Hyogo Prefecture in Japan. Today, I'm going to introduce Hyogo to you. First, I'll show you some historical spots and workshops centered around Himeji City. And then I'll tell you about some of the super unique attractions in Takarazuka City, followed by several specialties of the Nagata Ward in Kobe. And then I'll finish up with a few other great things that Hyogo has to offer. First, Himeji. Engyoji on the nearby Mount Shosha was one of the filming locations for Tom Cruise and Ken Watanabe's The Last Samurai, and the beautiful Himeji Castle was designated as one of Japan's very first UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Sites in 1993. Mount Shosha in the north of Himeji City is about 1,200 feet tall, and the Engyoji Temple Complex has been standing on top of this mountain for 1,000 years. This temple is home to many fabulous cultural properties. The Maniden, or main building, was originally constructed around a single cherry blossom tree and is built like a stage along the slope of the mountain. The Daikodo here, with the splendid tile roof, was originally a place of training and learning for the priests. This is the Jikido, whose front side is 130 feet wide and was built as the place for practicing monks to sleep and eat. At the moment, the first floor is being used for copying sutras, while the second floor is being used to display the temple's treasures. In the Jō Gyodo here, monks undergo a training ritual where they circle the statue of Amida Buddha while chanting his name. You can participate in workshops for Zazen and sutra copying called Shakyo, at the Jikido and Jō Gyodo, which were both used in the last samurai's filming. Zazen is a type of Zen meditation where you sit, straighten your back, and focus your mind. Let go of yourself and aim for a state of nothingness. Zazen has many positive effects. It refines your ability to concentrate, and it calms your mind. At the Shakyo workshop, you can copy Buddhist sutras onto paper modeled after flower petals. Sutras are the written version of the original Buddha's teachings to save all living things. In the days before the printing press, the sutras were hand copied in this Shakyo process. Shakyo lets you empty your mind and allows you to experience mental stability and inner peacefulness. You can also try Shoujin Ryori Buddhist cuisine, which does not use any meat or fish and is composed entirely of vegetables, fruits, and marine plants. Although it's based entirely around vegetables, the nutritional balance is excellent. Shoujin Ryori came to Japan in the 6th century along with Buddhism, and it has since become a common part of Japanese Buddhist training, just like Zazen. That's good. And I feel healthier already. Famous not only in Japan, but around the world, Himeji Castle. With a main keep that has six floors, but five roofs, in addition to one underground floor and three smaller keeps, has over 400 years of history. In 1993, along with three other sites, Himeji Castle was registered as one of Japan's first UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The main keep has a total floor area of just over half an acre. Himeji Castle has multiple types of decorative gables along the sides of its keep, including the multi-layered Chidori style and the arched Kara style gables. These traditional roof ornaments and the details on the walls emphasize the magnificence of the castle and the harmony of its design. The elegant white plaster walls are often considered the pinnacle of Japanese wooden architecture. If you climb the staircase inside, you can reach a room with a 360-degree view of the castle grounds and surrounding city. Finally, at the highest floor is Osakabe Shrine, where the guardian deity of Himeji Castle is enshrined. If you 
want to experience even more from Ninja Castle, we recommend the Ninja Experience. You can rent ninja clothes, learn how to throw real ninja stars, and participate in staged ninja battles. You can become a ninja too, in Himeji. The traditional Japanese garden Kokoen, to the southwest of Himeji Castle, was built with the castle as a background. It boasts eight and a half acres of land. Kokoen is made of nine different gardens with scenery that changes with each season. Two of the more famous gardens are the Garden of the Lord's Residence, which has a waterfall and pond, and the Tsukiyama Chisen Garden, which is a quintessential example of a traditional Japanese garden and boasts a beautiful view of the castle. By train from JR Sanomiya Station to JR Himeji Station, 40 minutes. Access to Shoshazan Ingyoji Temple. From JR Himeji Station, take a bus to Shoshazan Ropeway. Take the ropeway to Sanjo Station. And from Sanjo Station, it's 20 minutes on foot. From JR Himeji Station to Himeji Castle, 20 minutes on foot. The Ninja Experience is held every Saturday near the castle. Himeji Castle Garden Kokoen is bordering the castle to the west. Next, I'll introduce the 102 years old Takarazuka Review and the Osama Tezuka Manga Museum, which is also in Takarazuka, where you can enjoy the world of Japanese animation. But first, the Takarazuka Grand Theater. The Takarazuka Review is a unique theatrical troupe made entirely of unmarried females who play both male and female roles. Who plays which sex is usually decided by height, vocal range, and the individual's choice. And some people switch from male roles to female roles halfway through their career. In order to join the troupe, one has to attend and graduate from the Takarazuka Music School. Every year there are a huge number of applicants to the school, but only so many can get in, so it is extremely competitive. In 2014, in celebration of 100 years of existence, the review opens the Takarazuka Review Hall of Fame to honor the actresses, staff, and supporters who have made large contributions to the review over its long life. Here are some pictures of the alumni and staff of the Takarazuka Review. When you first enter the Hall of Fame, you see portraits and items related to the alumni former actresses. In addition to the stars who left their names in the hearts of the public over the last century, the Hall of Fame also honors the staff who supported the troupe from the shadows. This area honors the biggest stars of the past. They change the theme about three to four times a year. This area here honors the current's top stars and displays props used in recent shows. Over here, you can wear feather decorations on your back, like the actual stars, in front of this model of the big staircase, and take commemorative photos. At the stage studio, you can try on the stage makeup or wear replicas of the top stars' outfits and take photos, which is really cool, but unfortunately, only available for females. At the Sumire Museum, you can see pictures and videos of the Takarazuka Music School, and of actual classes. They also display the posters of approximately 800 shows performed in the past that have survived until today. Takarazuka City was also home to the young Osamu Tezuka, who is considered the father of Japanese animation. The Osamu Tezuka Manga Museum is modeled after a number of his works and allows one to experience some of the many worlds his pen created. This is the entrance mall, modeled after the palace in the comic Princess Knight. These capsules are based on the life support machines in the future chapter of the unfinished Phoenix, which Tezuka considered to be his life's masterpiece, and is considered by many to have been revolutionary in visual design. Inside these capsules are items related to Osama Tezuka and his works. The museum also has a theater, Adam Vision, that plays original movies based off of Tezuka's life and works, as well as an animation factory where you can create your own cartoon. 
At the animation factory, there are pencils and the kind of animation paper used by professionals that you can use to turn your drawings into a real moving cartoon. I'm the next Walt Disney. While we are on the subject of animation, let me introduce you to the gigantic statue located in Nagata Ward of Kobe City of the comic character robot Tetsujin No. 28, also known as Gigantor in the West. Tetsujin No. 28 was created in 1956 by the Kobe native Mitsuteru Yokoyama. This giant statue was constructed as a symbol of hope and strength after the 1995 Great Hanshin Earthquake destroyed much of this area. Nearby is the Kobe Tetsujin Sangokushi Gallery, where you can view footage of the construction of the statue, as well as figures and exhibits related to the Chinese classic, also re-envisioned and drawn by Yokoyama, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, including a replica of Guan Yu's legendary Green Dragon Crescent Blade, so that you can experience just how heavy it was. While we are still in the Nagata Ward, let me show you Sobameshi, a local cuisine that Kobe is famous for. Sobameshi's characteristics are finely chopped yakisoba noodles fried together with rice on an iron plate using no oil. The birthplace of Sobameshi is the Okonomiyaki restaurant Aomori here in the Nagata ward of Kobe. Legend says that one day, when the owner was making yakisoba noodles, a customer said, hey, fry that together with this here rice in my bento box. And that's how Sobameshi came to be. It's really, really good. Takarazuka Grand Theater and Hall of Fame. From JR or Hankyu Sanomiya Station to JR or Hankyu Takarazuka Station, 40 minutes by train. From Takarazuka Station, 5 minutes by foot. Sumire Museum. From Takarazuka Station, 15 minutes on foot. Osama Tezuka Manga Museum. From Takarazuka Station, 8 minutes on foot. Kobe City Nagata Ward. From JR Sanomiya to JR Shin Nagata, 10 minutes by train. Tetsujin No. 28 Statue. From Shin Nagata Station, 5 minutes on foot. Kobe Tetsujin Sangokushi Gallery. From Shin Nagata Station, 9 minutes on foot. Aomori Restaurant. From Shin Nagata Station, six minutes on foot. Sobameshi is not the only food that Kobe Hyogo is famous for. For example, Kobe has the world famous Kobe beef and some of the best sake breweries in the world. Now, most of the Kobe beef that you'll find overseas is actually fake due to export limits. So if you want to try the real thing, you gotta come to Hyogo, wink wink. But Hyogo's charms aren't limited to what I've shown you today or to just food and drink. We also have some of the best hot springs in the country, namely Arima Onsen and Kinosaki Onsen. We have the Takeda Castle Ruins, which are the Japanese Machu Picchu. On sunny mornings in the fall, mist surrounds the ruins and they appear to be floating on a sea of clouds. In Tamba, we have one of the six ancient kiln, traditional Japanese ceramic styles, and you can try to make some Tamba pottery yourself here in Hyogo. There is also the traditional puppet theater of Awaji Island. Uh, with over 500 years of history, it is a nationally designated important and tangible folk cultural property. Manipulating even one of these highly complex puppets takes several experts working together. There's a reason Hyogo is called Japan in miniature. Food, culture, architecture, Hyogo has all this and more. And we'd love to share it with you. So come on over. 